Good evening and thank you for returning for this review. Now we look at Attack of the Toy Tanks brought to the Nintendo Switch by Radalika Games. Roll through 60 levels of toys, lasers, and enemy tanks while trying to get the first shot at your enemy. That's really all that's to it, so let's dig into the finer details about the game to see what you think of my experience with Attack of the Toy Tanks. Before the music or visuals can be enjoyed, the controls bring the game to a screeching halt. From watching gameplay prior, I figured the controls would simply be twin stick. The moment the game begins, the controls feel like the clunky version of what I had hoped for. Your tank moves slowly which contributes to the wonky feeling, but I feel that it could be improved, and if done, would make playing the game a better time. The two left triggers move forward and backwards, while the right triggers both shoot your bomb that detonates on impact, or seconds later if left untouched. If you've come to the unfortunate end or foresee it, the X button will restart the level. I like that because I clicked it before the end sequence to avoid the bummer horn sound. There's a second choice for controller layout, but it still has an odd feel to it. But in the end, you're a tank. So, deal with it. Bummer horns segue to the game's general music, which is great. It's an exciting orchestra of drums, horns, flutes, strings, and more. Generally, the music is exciting and hypes up the game. It adds to the swiftness of each level. Some may only last six seconds long. The shortness of the levels and the hype music go hand in hand in a good way. Just think, if it were relaxing music, how whack would that be? Tanks are known for their strong armor, but not an attack of the toy tanks. One hit kills are the name of the game, as your enemies live by the same rules. Use this to your advantage by shooting what is essentially a grenade near your enemies in hopes of it exploding once they draw near it. I honestly didn't figure this out until about 16 levels in, as I was just simply shooting enemies head on. There are angled corners you can bank the grenade off to hit or land close to a bad guy. Your grenades can be used against you as well, so beware. Difficulty ramps up a bit, but overall it starts at a decent height. The beginning can be a bit unforgiving as you get a handle on the controls. Enemies will fire at the first sight of you and will result in a quickly ended match. Each level is judged on time and rating. If you feel you can defeat the level with a quicker time, maybe you will achieve the goal. Players will have the option to defeat each level sequentially or skip to any level of their choice, which is odd. Either way you make it to the end, once the level, last level is finished, you, will, you won't be greeted by an ending sequence or credits just the main screen. The statistics menu will show levels completed, medals earned, enemies killed, and game completion. Not that useful, but kind of cool to look at, I guess. Final words, overall, Attack of the Toy Tanks is exactly what you would expect just by the look of it. A great example of properly judging a book by its cover. It doesn't look that good, and it wasn't a ton of fun. Very quick games. If you're good, you could run through this game maybe in one or two hours. The price point is good at, you know, for what the game has to offer, but it's not really my cup of tea, so I can't recommend it. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate your time. If you could do me a solid, subscribe to my channel to support me. Thanks everyone for stopping by. I'm Surreal Rager. Game on.